Hey guys, Justin here and I'm here with you today with some Forza. So, today Hot Wheels, well not Hot Wheels, sorry, Forza has released a new car, which is free. So, let's go over, is it here? Oh no, that's auction alerts, I was trying to sell some cars. Uh, not there, where is it? Social, yeah, social. So let's go, driver toy, yeah, it's cool. 21 and 400, cool. Gift car, yes, 723 quads regalia. So let's take the car. Downloading. All right, so now I got the car. Uh, I got these cars as well, but I'm not claiming it because I keep getting them. So I don't want to keep getting them. So let's uh, go out. So let me get the car and I will see you guys once I grab it. So be right back. Okay, so let's go to the garage, my cars. So it's, I think, quads, regalia. So, Q. There you are. Oh, yes. So this is the car from Final Fantasy 15. Really, really beautiful car. So let's get into it. I've not played uh, Final Fantasy 15, but I've seen the gameplay for it, and this car is really nice. <laughs> It is also really long, so let's see if I can show you. Yep, it doesn't want to fit in the whole screen. So yeah, it's really nice car. So there's a way to get the roof out. Anyway, let's explode it. So <laughs> that is part of the engine, is it? It should be. I think so. That's part of the engine or something like that. Uh, I don't think the engine is at the back nice big big area there I can't open up there but if I were to come okay let's it go inside come on there you are okay I can sit at the back <laughs> it's better than nothing so see nice car now let's uh, go out there you go now implode the car now if I go there and select and then you can see the pack going down so it becomes a convertible and is there any way to there you go oh yeah that's how you do it but yeah it's really really nice car I wonder can I drive it with the convertible down so let's take it out and have a little look at it let's go outside ah oh, the head doesn't come down it might be worth bringing them into your lineup. Yeah, but yeah, it's a huge car. This is huge. Can hear it. So it is very heavy as well. I think it's gonna be one of the heaviest car in the game. Let's go inside. Oh my, it's pretty dark inside. It's not powerful at all. <laughs> it's really heavy. So I'm in the original world of Forza, the Australia Outback. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Does it have damage? I actually wonder, can I damage the car? Because this is a, considered a unique car. So I wonder if they actually uh, model the damage for it. Because technically this car does not exist, well, this car doesn't exist in real life. So can I damage? Yep, can't really damage it. <laughs> but, uh, this car doesn't really exist in real life so it's made of the in-game model oh my god this is not powerful at all <laughs> it struggles to move third gear at 100 km oh my god this is slow so what I want to do now is I want to modify the car a little bit let's enter change it change it up a little bit I'm not gonna change the paint because I like the paint as it is but I want to modify it so that it's actually decently fast because it's very heavy. Oh, you can't en you can't engine swap. So slight modification. Not bad. Bit okay. Camera views off. Okay, maybe I have to put in the tires. Actually, no. It actually does this hill quite well. All right, let's do the race. Let's. Oh no 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 no. Not championship. Exhibition. Is this count as a GT? Yep, okay, it's a GT. 
Oh my, okay, I'm gonna really be outclassed. Yep, I will be. <laughs> Alright, Archway Meadows, Circuit. Lot of expensive cars, and then there's that. Oh my god, it's so huge. Alright, let's start the event. See how it goes. Don't think I'll do well because this car is super heavy. Okay, launch is good. Right, okay. Okay, yeah, surprisingly good actually. Really good. Okay. Still can pull on cars even though it's not much power. Okay. And it's drifty around corners. Okay. Maybe a little bit too much power. I'll have to reduce it to 800 after this. But considering the size and weight of this, it is surprisingly good. Oops. Okay, leg spike. Come on. Alright, drift around the corner to go. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. Ah, drift tap, maybe. So, doing pretty good. Okay, yeah, I'm very impressed by this car. It's surprisingly better to what it would seem. Because I would have assume that even though with the engine modification and with the weight, I expected it to be a lot slower. Okay, yeah, it's a lot slower than what a other car with this amount of power would do but considering the weight it's actually pretty good all right doing quite all right yeah okay I'm happy with this car and I love this car with the looks of it <laughs> it looks like a little mini limousine but you know what this car really nice really better than what I thought it would be a lot more power than I need actually I need to reduce the power for sure tires are actually fine considering I have not upgraded the tires oh my leg spike so uh, since the last Forza update I've been having a bit of issue even though my computer is running quite alright quite low it's still acting as if it's not getting enough power the game so don't understand what's wrong I reduced the graphics a little and it should be alright but no idea something's not right with Forza it was optimized for a while and then I don't after the oh my, after the Porsche update everything got messed up so doing really well after this race what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going over to the airport and see if I can do a drag race I almost hit the wall. Not bad. 58 seconds. Two seconds off the next guy. Damn. Alright, so yeah, I'm very impressed by this car. 8,500. <laughs> You've been saving a lot. I've been saving a lot of money. Is that level up? Ah, oh, no. Very close. Okay, nice amount of fans. Alright, since I'm going to be heading to the airport let's test the max speed and acceleration on this through the highway so usually I use the highway to test the max speed so let's see how it does so I know it theoretically does 309 from tuning so I want to see how long it takes to get to 309 so it's quite slow but actually considering of the weight and the size of this car is doing pretty well alright so it's all hitting the limit already it don't think it can go to 8 gear cars up in front okay really well oh my we're moving 296 okay so it's a lot slower than it should okay so it can't actually hit the 300 mark but considering how this car looks I'll be happy with what it's hit, uh, 299, like I was hitting, okay, get ready to take the exit, to the airport, ooh, no grip, no grip, that's more my fault, I'm going too fast, and down here, and 
I'm gonna take that down road, go this way. So, another way I test my speed is using this airport. So, that at the end of this runway, there is one speed camera. Right at the end. Let's show you on camera. So, over here, speed camera. So, let's see how it does. My Nissan Skyline does 399 by the end well this one can't hit the full speed but I want to see how fast it takes to accelerate and can we even hit the 8 gear so 6 gear at 260 not bad can it hit 300 looks like it might it's actually doing pretty well considering ah okay it loses power as soon as it hits 7 gear so I might to get the ma maximum performance from this car, I might have to drive it manually. Because looks like auto does not do well. And uh, I can't really do auto with my controller. It doesn't deal well taking in so many inputs at once. Because I'm not using an Xbox controller, I'm just using a simple Logitech one. So, really impressive. I'm happy with this car. Like the looks of the car. Oh, yeah, it can take body damage. Okay. It's just. A lot less than other cars. This car can drift though. <laughs> yep, it can. Limousine drifting. Alright, so that is it for today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!